Welcome back. Experts expect this to be one of the worst allergy seasons on record, and it could be especially bad for those in our area. Joining us today is Dr. Jeremy Bufford, an allergist with Meritor Medical Group, to give us some advice on what you and your family can do to survive the spring allergy season. But first, I want your take. Do you agree with this idea that this is going to be one of the worst seasons? I don't think it'll necessarily be any worse than past seasons. And due to the longer winter we had and increased snowfall, it might actually not be as bad. Um, allergen level predictions are based on historical data and weather forecast. So you know, we might survive the worst. Let's talk about this area. So this new ranking came out that Madison was the 12th worst. Right. What goes into and what makes this area worse for allergy sufferers? Right. Well, this ranking was based on historical allergen levels in the past. Uh, it was based on number of allergen prescriptions that are filled per capita, as well as number of allergists per capita. And in Madison, we're um, you know, lucky to have quite a few number of allergists. So there's really not an excuse to see one. So let's talk about what, before we get to go see a doctor when it's that bad, what can people do to kind of keep their allergy issues at bay? Right. There's lots of practical tips that you can uh, implement, including limiting activities in the early morning hours, since pollen counts are higher at that time. Um, taking a shower at the end of the day to rinse off all the pollens. Uh, don't hang your clothes on the line to dry. Wash your dogs if they spend a lot of time outdoor. There's great over-the-counter medications, including antihistamines. Um, allergy eye drops, uh, sinus rinses, nasal decongestants. Um, see your uh, doctor or your allergist to make sure your asthma is under control, or see an allergist and consider allergy shots to reduce uh, immune sensitivity. So how do you know when you should see an allergist versus just do those over-the-counter, less expensive right. options? Yeah, you don't want to wait for your symptoms to get severe uh, to see an allergist. If, if the over-the-counter medications aren't working or if the allergies are contributing to respiratory infections, missed work in school, or alterations in your sense of taste, smell, and hearing, then you should, you should see your doctor. And so I know you sound a little congested, right? So Correct. I've a, had a cold. A lot of families struggle with how to know the difference between a cold and allergies. Do mm -hmm. you have any insight there? I do. There's a lot of overlap between the symptoms, but allergies usually develop pretty immediately and can last for several weeks throughout the course of the allergy season. Uh, you'll have clear nasal drainage and frequent eye symptoms. Uh, whereas colds develop more slowly, they only last for up to about two weeks. There might be some thick nasal drainage, uh, but you may also have some fever and body aches as well. So best piece of advice to leave people with? Um, you can definitely get your allergies under control with the help of your allergist. Don't let your allergies control you. There, there you go. And I'll tell you, I went from having six sinus infections a year to one changes your life. So thanks for joining us. We'll be back right after this with the final